magic school bus! Any chance we could find something warmer than these paper heat blockers, Miss Frizzle? What if I told you that there was a fur coat and a heat source due north? I'd say, let me at it! Last one of the heat sources of frozen egg. But I should warn you. <sighs> oh. oh, that feels good. Oh, warm, warm, warm. Phew. As Ralphie would say, is it just me or does this heat source smell like a dead fish? Who cares? If we don't keep warm and save the bus, Ralphie may never say anything again. Smells like a dead fish. Feels like a hot breeze. Looks like, yikes, a polar bear! Yoo-hoo, class! Now you see us, now you don't. Save the bus now! I know! Well, I don't know exactly. I'm working on it. <sighs> Wherever we are, it sure is hot. Can we get this heat source to the bus? It certainly bears thinking about. Then I better find out where the bus is. Wait for me! I don't get it. We're in the middle of the Arctic. How did it get to be so steamy? Well, let's check it out. The heat's coming out of the ground. And it's still warm up here. You're right. It looks like the heat from the ground gets trapped by these weird plants. What kind of plants are these anyway? Hey, guys, over here. I can see it. I can see the bus. Keisha, be careful. The heat's escaping through the hole in the roof. This isn't a roof! It's polar bear fur! We're riding the Polar Bear Express! We're on the polar bear! So, does the bear's hair work just like the paper we stuffed in our jackets? To keep the heat in? As my niece Moon Valley always says, oh, like, for sure, for sure. Miss Frizzle! It's the tangled hair that insulates the bear. Excellent observation, Carlos. Swell, but how do we get out of here? Hoochie-coochie-coo. Yay! This way, Travis. 